everyone, my name is Clay, and welcome to the next episode of, uh, my brain just stopped, Demolition. And this time we're going to be doing Arkin, which apparently has music, but it's not in the title screen. Also, uh, Arkin is very similarly built in the classic, like, SNES and Game Boy style. That's why it's not huge on my screen, so instead I have the little background on the back. So I hope you guys don't mind it. Let's go ahead. Now this is... <laughs> this is a randomly generated Zelda-like. And I don't know how to really explain this one. So apparently we get to make seeds. So let's do this. Five, one... Three... Eight... Five, one, three, six, one, seven, seven, zero. Okay. I don't know. Just picking numbers. So that's a seed, and apparently that will dictate everything. Okay. Uh, hi. Welcome to the demo of Arkin. There are four dungeons in this world, I'm waiting for you to explore them. Each dungeon has its own special item. You first need to find to complete the dungeon. Your objective is to reply the four relics of this world to stop Taurus from destroying it. There are many secrets hidden in the world. Keep your eyes open and use the items you find to open new paths. When you're lost, take a look at your map in your pause menu. Okay, that's pause. Uh, uh, E? Okay, materials. Whoa! Well, this is a big map. So I have items, materials, navigation map, quest status. Can't save my game. So that's apparently not a thing yet. <laughs> What's this? Okay, so I got my sword. Yeah! Wah, 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 wah. Okay. Okay, obviously there's pushing. You can see the push animation. The animations are clean. I like the colors. Apparently I'm starting... Oh! Apparently I can dump into the water. Here lives Lonk. Apparently my name is Lonk. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna look around then. Well, that's clearly something. Ooh. Nice. Alright, so right now, this is this is not necessarily a story driven one, but I do like adventure games like Zelda. When I mean, we have a story, we're supposed to, you know, collect the doohickeys. Digging the music right now. Do, 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 do. You know, I expected the jack move one to be a lot longer. <laughs> I didn't expect to be jumping from one uh, indie demo to another, but here we are. Okay, well, that's something. What is this? What are you? Your house. You will need the me Medio Rod to enter Omtut's mouth. So, okay, that's obviously an item. Oh my god, there's a dodge roll. What? What? Oh, my sweet baby Jesus, there's a dodge roll. That's gonna... Well, I mean, this is something. Uh, hi. Hello, friend. Do you know the magical Meteor Rod? It's a mana-consuming item that once you swing it, summons a meteor in front of you. You can smack down wooden barriers with it, but I don't know where to find the rod. Well, I mean... I will get a ball of slimy goo! Oh, I can use that to create mess. There's a forging system? I don't know if it's implemented, but that's kind of nice. Hup, hup. Piss off. What is this? Okay, so the Avdal Ruins is south of me. Where am I going? Oh! The magical lantern can be found somewhere, but I don't remember the exact location. Well, it's procedural. Who knows? How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? Dodge my shit. <laughs> I'll roll! By the way, I'm playing this again with an Xbox controller. It works great, actually. Took a little... Yep. Don't do that. <laughs> Woo! What's this? You will need the boomerang to enter a LUT grotto. Okay, well, what, what do you got down here? I've got uh, five old bones. Not bad. There are creatures that use these as a currency. So instead of rupees, we got bones. I got a bat wing. Okay, that's another forging item. I found the Nightwing, a beautiful insect which is used in many potions. Oh, wow. Okay. 
There's a lot of stuff I'm just finding, randomly. Sir! I didn't say you could jump. I have no idea what those are. I got 41 of something, zero of something, and five bones. Look at the bones! Uh, delete this grassland. Okay. Let me look at my map real quick. Where am I? Okay, that's where I've explored two houses. Cool. Real simple to control. I'm digging. Oh god. Are those like moblins? Is that what is that what this guy is? He's like a moblin? That's kind of what he did. I sense the presence of a relic nearby. Have you been to Tremdalab Tower? Wait, what'd you say? There must be the relic. Okay. What, what is this? Five seashells. Maybe you used to buy things from some creatures. So we have two distinct currencies, possibly three. <laughs> back, back, you foul knave. Okay, so that's the Icub Frost Land. Alright. I'm digging this. Oh! Sir! Whoa. Okay, well, I apparently can roll into people. Because I'm smart like that. Uh, that's Sunno Field. Okay. Whoa! Oh, I lost my cur- Oh, God! Okay, what are you? I found a Karas Ore. It's really hard and has shiny crystals. You can use it to forge better. How do I forge? Let's see, I've got these materials. I don't have any items. I have nothing in my relics or anything, and I can't save. So we'll play this for... I don't know how long. We'll we'll, we'll see. Oh, because I can't save, so that is problematic to me. But there's only four done. Oh God! Okay, well that was unexpected. I found a cave. Is there a different map for the cave? No. Oh God. Okay, I found the Tornado Triangle. This mysterious instrument lends you the power to control the wind when you play it. A world will take you to each statue have of wind which you have activated with your sword. In dungeons, it will take you to the entrance. Okay, I found a red gem. It's worth 20 green gems. Okay, so green gems, another currency. So, Okay, I didn't do a thing. Because I'm not in the dungeon. Okay, but I found I found fast travel slash escape button. Cool. <laughs> Two more holes. Another chest. What's in this? I uh, found the moonstone. You can use it to forge better items. Okay, another forge. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's a rock I could break, I assume. That's probably something I can light. Oh, God! You just came out of nowhere, didn't you? I do not approve of that. Give me my health back. Okay, well, that's clearly something I can blow up. Oh, of course they're gonna have those. Why wouldn't they have that? I got a Dark Essence. Okay, another forge better items item. Hup, hup, hup. Right, let me check something real quick. Everything's looking good. I, I'm definitely digging this game. It's uh, something else though. So we'll play for a bit. This this one, since I guess it doesn't have a save feature, or if it does, I don't know how. Maybe there's like an item or a person I have to talk to. Might be. Or just might be that he hasn't implemented saving yet. Which if he- OH GOD! THAT WAS SOME BULLSHIT! This is some random layouts. Oh. Okay. There's definitely some- there's definitely randomization here. I don't know how he built this or implemented any of it, but it's uh... It's pretty impressive, really. I mean, this is definitely a playable game right now, even in its current state. I got two tornado triangles. Oh, I got another. Do, do I even have two? 
<laughs> like on the second one. So I guess he puts extra items, maybe? That's that's pretty funny, actually. Uh, let's see. Oop. Ooh, health. Health, health, health! I took some damage earlier. You do have full movement, which is nice. Ooh, another another building. What's this? Hi. My daughter went missing. She was just playing outside the house. I searched everywhere. Is there a hole? Maybe that's maybe that's the key that there's a hole. Not go up through here. There's holes here, though. What is this? Yeah, I'm definitely feeling the music. It's definitely got the Zelda vibe to it, and I like that. So, gentlemen who did the music, good job. Found some more ore. I'm gonna try one of these holes. I found another dark essence. So we're going to do this first, and we'll try a hole. Hi! The Medio Rod can be found in the tower, which is located in the grasslands. I found another Nightwing. Can't use him. Okay, we're going to jump down the hole in a minute. We're a brave boy. Or I can just knock people into the hole! That works too! Screw you! Alright, let's do it! Okay. Can I go down from here? I can go south from here. Now right, let's go south from here. Oh! Alright, we're, we're cutting all the grass, because, you know. Gotta cut the grass. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Uh, I'm trying to do more stuff with my YouTube channel, and I find the idea of playing indie demos like this kind of enjoyable. Gives me some content. What is this? The Majestic Lantern? I don't remember the exact location. God damn it. Well, you're useful, sir! We can go this way? Oh! Oh, there's the tower. There's our first dungeon. I just got Power Glove! <laughs> what?! Okay! Okay, classic Zelda stuff. I got a glove that lifts rocks. There's a hole over there. Do I need to equip it, or is it just equipped? Oh, it's just over there! It's ability level one. Seriously, dude, you need to you need to imp developer, you need to implement a save feature immediately. Cause I am already into this, and I don't like the fact that I'm not gonna be able to save my game. Or make it very clear how I save my game. Can I lift this up? How do I lift? Okay, that's not what I wanna do. Huh. Oh god! Well, I mean, that's kind of messed. I'm not gonna bother. I don't need that. Ooh, chesticles. They are the besticles. We all know that. We all know the rule that chesticles are the besticles! I got Power Glove! I mean, I'm trying different buttons. So wait, does that level it up? No, it's still level one. Okay. Got more seashells. I've got a lot of seashells. Seashells, seashells by the seashores. Is it different keys? Okay, I'm not entirely certain how to activate the rock lifting. Da, 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 da. All right, let's go in. Alright, so first dungeon, do I have... I do have a map for the dungeon. Okay. So there's map for the overworld, map for the dungeon. Sir. Sir! What did I get? I got the Meteor Rod! Do I just... Oh. Okay. Oh, <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, so I have the Meteor Rod. I don't know what these are all about. Oh, okay! Ah! 
Okay, so the dodge key is also... What is this? Do I hit that? Okay, well, do I meteor on that? Okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay. Let me try picking one of these up and hucking it at a dude. Okay, that didn't work. No hucking. There's no hucking. Or there is. Okay, well, I mean, that's fine. Can I lift that up? No. Can I lift that up? No. Alright. Well, let's pick one of these up and throw it. Can I break them? No, I have to pick them up and hook them. Okay. Good to know. But we have a meat. We have the rod, so I have the tool. Okay, so you can do the bull, the shenanigan of picking item up, hucking it at Batty. Huh. Excellent. This uh, dungeon's very bare bones. I think some of the rooms could use a little more spicing up. Definitely. Definitely finding this enjoyable, though. Alright, uh, let's see. You! Oh, you avoided. You evaded. How dare you. Thank you. Okay. What do I get? Seashells, seashells by the seashores. Let's look at the map. Okay. Okay, easy to read. Easy to... What the? Well, there's the key to the room below me. Wait, is there a room below me? There it. There it is. One to the side, one to the below. Let's try it. I guess that's a boss room. Maybe. Maybe that is the boss room. Alright. Alright. Yep. Okay, so these huckers throw axes. Alright. Yeah, some of the dungeon rooms are kind of sparse, it feels. Whoa! Okay, so we have the- What the f- What the hell? Stop it. What are you? Stop it! Look, I don't want you. I don't like you. There's something enjoyable about hitting people with, you know, barrels. In essence, it's fun. I have no idea what the, the currencies are for. What is this? Compass! Oh, okay, so that was the boss room down there. There's a couple chests I've missed. Good to know. Okay, so this is very, very classic Zelda. This is definitely making me think of, like, classic 8-bit and 16-bit Zelda games. Um, what? Oh. <laughs> okay. Sure, game. Ah, okay, so this, if I hit this, Meteor Rod that, and then I get the Master Key. Okay. Can I push these? No. No, how about the other way? No. No. Okay. The game is teaching me, though. It is teaching me the ways. It is teaching me many things right now. And those things are important to learn. Yeah, I want to go get that other chest over there. Apparently I missed a chest in one room. I'm not sure what inspiration the gentleman who made this took, or how he got here, but I'm digging it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, hey, screw you. How'd you get out of there? And you! Can you push any of these? No. 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 I'm surprised there's a dodge roll, though, and that makes me nervous. That makes me worry that there is a reason for a dodge roll. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, I found the dungeon map! Okay, so there's a couple of rooms I haven't been to. 
Okay. Okay, I'm digging. I'm picking up what you're putting down, game. I'm picking it up. This feels good to play, too. It's definitely very much a coffee coffee shop. Not coffee shop. Blah, blah. Coffee break sort of game. Where's my health? I demand health. I don't know what happens when I die, and I'm not sure I want to find out. <laughs> so apparently, the item I find, like many games like this, is going to be what is necessary for me to defeat the final boss of the dungeon. So in this case, something about the Meteor Rod is going to be necessary for this final final fight here coming up. I like the torches. Those are cool. Yeah, see, some of these rooms are really bare, and others are really fucking busy. Like, this is a really busy room. There's a chest in here. Ha-ha! I figured you out, game! And I got an old bone for it! Yes. Alright, let's go fight her first, but the fuck? Was easy. Alright, so I'm grabbing meat. I grab some wood. I don't know what the hell that was all about. What is this? Okay. Cool, I obtained the relic of departure. It contains all it contains the power of all the origins of this world. The blank sheet of paper is not blank anymore. The motivation awakens in your blood. Your life and mana increase by one unit. And I am classically teleported out of the dungeon with a new toy. Excellent. A toy that can smush, smush things and break things. Right? Like, how does that work? So, does it work on this? No. Okay. But there is a different look for the grass depending on which way I broke it. Interesting! Or it looks different. Fascinating. Alright. All right, we're getting near the 30 minute mark. Alright, what is a Whoa! Hello! Have I been over here? I don't know. Screw you! Eat a rock! Okay, what's this? A psalm grass field. Okay. Well, that's a lot of chests. I found the revealing bell. This mysterious item will help you discover secrets. You need to have it equipped to work. The bell will ring whenever you enter an area that contains secret chests or stairs. So basically, equip it. And it'll, it'll show me secrets. Or notify me of secrets. Found a red gem. Found the empty bottle. Transport many different things. And medicine, of course. Let's go in here. What the frig are these things? I don't approve of this shit. I still have no idea how to use the power glove, or even if it's implemented, really. Can, is it this? Does that do anything? No. DIE! What's this? I found a snow crystal. Forge better items. Okay. Well, I mean, game, you're telling me I can do all this stuff, but you're not explaining how to do any of it. Then again, I'm not entirely certain if it's even implemented. Oh, maybe it is. Because that 
I got another empty bottle. All right. This seems something. What is this? Hi, dude. Welcome, friend. I'm the blacksmith. If you have the right materials, I can upgrade some of your weapons and tools. Shiny sword. So if I had three of those sticks, I could do that. If I had the lantern, I could do the arcane lantern. Oh, wow. Okay. So there is an upgrade shop. You just have to find it. What is this? Okay. More shells. What are you? Do you have flippers? Okay. They say there's not to let you dive as well. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, over here. Screw all of you. Particularly you. <coughs> Screw you. Screw you. Sir! What is this? Meat! Meat! Meat for the meat lord! Okay, where am I right now? So I got two empty bottles, a revealing bell, I got... I need more giblin roots. I'm over here. Alright. Map's pretty easy to read, at least, so I can tell where I am and where I've been. Aha! Okay. Got it. Got it, game. I understand now. There's a strange cave in Sunho Field. It's located northwest, but please be careful. There's lots of monsters. Have a rock. I got bombs! Oh, man! We got bombs! We got them explosive devices. So yes, I was right. It's the same key as dodge is the key to pick up rocks. Okay. Alright, we are at the 27 minute mark. So I'm going to pause the game for here. If you like what I'm doing, feel free to hit that like button. Next week we will continue on this adventure and see how far I can get. I'm also going to take a quick look to see if there's a way I can save. Um, <laughs> I don't think there is. <laughs> um, but... I think so. Let's see here. That was a great help. Watering kind of sound though. Yeah. I don't see a way to save, so I'll figure this out. But, as always, folks, thanks for watching. Uh, keep an eye out for more Demolition coming on to you on Fridays. Like I said, next week will be another episode of this as I continue forward. I'll probably continue until either I complete the demo or I die. One of the two events occur, and then that'll probably be the end of Arkin. I'm definitely liking this. I definitely think this should be on your list if you're into this sort of game. Uh, the uh, Itch.io, it's on itch.io, like most of these demos are, will be in the description box. It is free. Go check it out. If you have an Xbox controller, you can play it. It's real easy to learn. Thanks for watching, and remember, guys, stay nerdy.